Hello everyone, um, <clears throat> I'm back with a new Trackmania tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how to import your own models into Trackmania and you know use them in game so let's do that. Um, before I begin this is kind of a long process it takes a long, uh, quite a lot of time just to import a model but I think it's worth it and in the end. Um, Alright so before we begin you need to download alright yeah we're going to be using a program called 3ds max and if you're a student you can download it for free on uh, the website and you get like a free license so you've just got it for free or you can uh, you know just download it uh, yeah alright now you're going to need to download Nadio Importer, which I put in the description, and you have to place that in your main planet uh, directory in Program Files. Otherwise, it won't work. So once you've put these two in, uh, yeah, that's done. You're going to open 3ds Max, and you'll see this. Well, actually, you might see uh, you might see this, but just click on. Uh, this one and just press maximize like that so you just see everything and then you're gonna go to import and uh, yeah I'm gonna merge a file I already had so yeah so here I've got a little skyscraper I found and I'm gonna open and we're gonna import both of them actually we don't need the sky we just need plane and here we have a massive, huge building actually. It's really big. Okay. What you want to do now is select it. So just click on it. If you, yeah, click on it. Go here to the scale uh, button and just scale it down because that's way too big. Alright. Now we're going to be using, um, if I move this out of the way a second. We're going to be using this square here for our model, and it's going to be X, Y, and Z like this. And yeah, so you have to fit the model in there, otherwise, in the editor, when you place it, it'll just look weird. Um, it won't place well. So, I'm going to move it so it fits like this. Make sure it hits the ground plane, and to test that out, we're going to make. We're going to go here to create, create a new plane and just draw out like a square or whatever like that and just select this model and yeah just and press the select and move button here and just move it so it just fits through as you can see like that yeah then you can go ahead click on the plane and delete it we don't need that anymore alright so the model is fit inside the square and in terms of size you just have to Ooh, message. You just have to um, do trial and error because it always changes. Sometimes it's really big, really small, but yeah. Right. Now we're going to do some naming because otherwise it just won't convert. So you're going to click it. Go here to modify. And here you can see it's got this stuff but which you don't need. Okay, so we're going to rename it uh, whatever you want so test vid I guess and then you have to press you have to do underscore lod zero now what this does is it just uh, makes it high quality at any distance when you view it in in the game so just type that and you'll be fine alright and then we're gonna right click this and do convert to editable poly like that. Then we're going to go to modifier up here, UV coordinates and unwrap UVW and then you're going to do the same thing again so do it twice. Okay so with the one you just selected you're going to scroll down here and make it map channel 2 and press abandon. Now what this does is map channel 1 is the material 
and map channel 2 is the light map when you do shadows and all that okay now we're going to go to utilities here and if you don't see uh, here just go to more and find channel info which is oh, I've already got it but it'll be here so press channel info and again and here when you've done the UV maps it'll say one map and two map but we have to rename them so on one map you're gonna right click here and do name and you can call it base material like that and the second map you're gonna rename it light map like that <coughs> right now UV mapping, I can't really explain it well, but if you uh, go on YouTube and just type in what is UV mapping, then you'll understand. But we're going to go to the first UV map, which is channel 1. And basically what we're going to do is we have to rearrange all the parts so they fit inside this box here and they look, uh, they fill the whole box basically. So for example, if I select um, like this section here, yeah, you can see all of it selected. So there we go. Yeah, as I said, just go on YouTube and type in UV mapping. It will explain everything for you. All right. Also, for uh, the the UV map channel two, you have to make sure that if you go and open UV editor here, that it fits within the box. As you can see here, it's not all fit inside the box. So you select all, and you're going to move it into the fit to the box and you can scale it if you want just like that now we're going to import the material that came with the model uh, depends um, if you make your own model and you do your own materials then you'll have to just do it manually but I have a material with me so I'm just going to drag it on and as you can see it looks it looks nice it fits well and in the UV map you can see it all fits nicely so once that is done we're going to go to rendering render to texture okay and uh, we're going to scroll down make sure it says use existing channel and map one uh, channel one okay and when you go here to add and do complete map all right and make sure it's a power of two but i'm just going to do 2048 by 2048 okay and once you've done just press render and it does the whole image for you okay so once you do that just save it as uh, whatever you want and we're going to use uh, you have to save it as a DDS file so DDS and you can have to name it like this so whatever name you gave here which is test vid I'm going to do that so test vid and then you're going to do underscore and D. So do that. And you're going to choose DXT1 here and press OK. So it's saved. Done. Right. Right. So now we're going to go to the material editor here. So press that. OK. I'm just going to reset everything. OK. You're going to go to the first slot with a sphere here, and you're going to you have to rename it underscore tdsn underscore, and then call it um, the name of the object you use. So test vid test vid underscore, and then you can choose from. Uh, a variety of names uh, like concrete, metal, all that. So I'm going to call it concrete. This is basically what you'll feel when you drive on top of it, if you know what I mean. Okay, so once you've named it correctly, just press assign. Yeah, so once you've done that, everything's uh, done. You just have to save it. So you're going to go to File, Export, and export it. Okay, now we're going to go to Documents, Mania Planet, Work, and you have to create a new folder here called Work in the Mania Planet folder. 
and items. You have to create a new folder called items. And then you create a new folder with your object. So I'm going to call it testvid. Okay, and you save it in here and you're going to call it testvid. And you have to save it as an FBX file. Remember that. Press save. Press OK. And yeah, OK. Right. And okay, so once you've exported it, it shall be in the testvid folder here, as you can see. Yeah, so it'll be in the testvid folder here. And in this folder, you have to create a new folder called Texture. So just go into Texture. And now, we have to put all the materials we're going to use for the object. So you know the one I just rendered before. We're going to get that. So, uh, Alright, we're going to get it here. So the DDS file rendered, you're going to copy that into here. There we go. Now, we have to open this in Photoshop. So just open that. Now, as you can see, um, I'm using a plugin called the NVIDIA DDS plugin, which allows me to open the file in Photoshop. And uh, you can download it in the description, as I said. So once you've opened this, I'm going to close that. We have to create a diffuse, a uh, normal, and a specular map. And what this is, is a diffuse map is just the texture. A normal map shows all the like the bumps and all the reflections and everything and the specular is when you do it um, I think for the night so okay so we're gonna go file save as uh, we're gonna do DDS again but this time you're gonna call it N at the end so test fit underscore N press save okay and now this will show up and what you're gonna go to do here is you're going to do 3DC normal map and uh, yeah, generate MIP maps and press save and it should save it for you. Yeah, okay, so saved. Uh, let's go back to texture. And as you can see, it says N now. And we're going to copy the D and just rename S at the end because I, I don't have time for S. Okay, so you've got all the textures ready, all the uh, you've got the file ready. All that's left to do is convert it. So you're going to go. All right, we're going to use a program called Convert Assistant, which is um, something I downloaded, and it's easier than just going into Command and just typing all this stuff. It's really complicated. But we're going to open this, and we're going to go Options and Change Importer Location. And when you press that, you have to locate where you saved the Nadio importer, which was here. So you're going to link it to that, the application, press, and when you're done, we're going to go back to testvid in here, and we're going to get the FBX file, and make sure it's in Manu Planet work items, and then the folder you named it, I'm going to drag it in there, and then it'll ask you what you want to do, so we're going to do static object, and press OK. Okay, so we press convert, and there, everything's converted successfully. All that's left is just to go into Menu Planet and see what it looks like. So let's do that. Okay, so we're in the editor here now. We're going to go to uh, item mode here, and we're going to find uh, the object, which I, f I forgot what it is. Here it is. There we go, it fits nicely. Now we're going to compute shadows so it looks more realistic. So we're going to go here and compute. Uh, let's do fast. Alright, so that's done and there we go. You can even drive on top. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, I guess. Yeah, so... Here's a pretty long way of doing it, but this is how it's done basically, and I hope you enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>